If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. We got some big news coming from the big fish. Yes, Errol Spence Jr., aka the big fish. He has made an announcement that he is returning against Sebastian Fedora. You're like, well, we already know that. Well, they added further specificity he is returning in his backyard of texas man so the fight will take place either at the dallas cowboy stadium or the training facility located in arlington texas either way it'll be in the big fish's backyard or back pond or back ocean you know what i'm saying uh so it, 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 it's, it's it's good to know that he's returning you know because last time we saw him he suffered his first loss to the pound for pound king terrence bud crawford and it was a devastating loss brutal loss right uh um and this was over a year ago man you know this is uh last year in the summer so you know he's been out the ring for quite some time but the good news is that you know he's going to return and we are anticipating his return to see if he could come back close to form to what he was before we know that you know he won't come back as peak Errol Spence but we're hoping that he could come back in a form that's capable enough uh that's capable of beating Sebastian Fedora which is a tall task literally and figuratively because the man's about 6'6 six, six, you know what I'm talking about so uh you know Sebastian Fedora who's a two belt champion you know uh he has been stopped before he has been beaten before and stopped before by Brian Mendoza who is a good fighter but he's a less caliber fighter lower caliber fighter than what Errol Spence could be we don't know what he is you know Errol Spence has a lot of questions um because he's been out the ring for so long he'll be bouncing back uh from his first loss you know and the bad news is <laughs> it won't be till late January 2025 yes so it'll, it'll, the, the fight will take place in late January of 2025 now I will tell you do not hold your breath because you know the fight was supposed to take place for multiple dates first time in October then they pushed it back to December and now it's back in January so you know if you're doubting that if the fight will ever take place you're not wrong for that but I would like to remain hopeful and I'm hoping that my boy is also you know comes back in a, in, in 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 a capacity in which he could perform at a high level in a safe fashion right because you know him being out out the ring that long suffering his first defeat going returning to come to go against a, a a two belt champion you know like i said it's a very dangerous mission to accomplish you know but I, i'm confident that he could make me a believer again you know what i'm saying when he when he returns so he'll be going against uh sebastian fedora who has a wbo belt and the wbc belt we'll see what he could do man now he does have some other questions as well like who's his trainer you know he split from derrick james who he's been with since the amateur days you know in olympic days um now you know uh i i've heard some things about who his, who his trainers could be um but i don't want to put out any rumors because i haven't really saw saw anything definitive you know but i've been hearing some things and, and and some other things about some other trainers but you know i like i said i just haven't seen anything concrete at this moment so i don't want to release any information that could be incorrect so uh yeah i'm looking forward to his return in january good low willing don't hold your breath but we might see the big fish return man back in his hometown of texas against sebastian fedora keep your fingers crossed but that's it for me man. i just want to uh, uh update y'all with that errol spence information i appreciate y'all rock with me as always don't forget to hit that like button but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god real nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets